Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. Um, whatever you decide as the options that I've shown you available for what's coming up next, you know, next year when Windows 10 end of support arrives, you have several choices. Some of them keeping your PC, some of them uh, moving on to a new PC. But one of the things that you'll need to do is start thinking about backing up your files, your important files, uh, for example. And so on your computer, of course, you have documents and pictures and all of that. These are folders where you have important things that you might want to keep. So start thinking about backup options. Could be sending them to USB thumb drives in order to have them, um, you know, copied back to whatever new um, operating system or whatever new hardware, maybe a new PC that you have. Uh, you could use, of course, cloud storage. If you um, are a Microsoft 365 subscriber like I am, maybe, you know, using um, the OneDrive and let it sync it all the files in the cloud makes it easy to come back afterwards or any other cloud provider uh, could be used and that makes it easy to get your files back on other PCs or a new PC or a new operating system um, even if you do keep your main PC do back up it's very important to back up people do not and they lose everything and it's it's a continuing battle of trying to explain that keeping files only on your computer is a risk you could lose important data. Um, so, you know, it, depending on whether or not you're changing the hardware, the PC itself or not, even just reinstalling a new Windows, you know, if you do install a new Windows, like even on unsupported, you are always better off with doing it fresh, doing it brand new from the start and not keeping everything because it prevents a lot of the problems moving on. You know, a lot of users that have moved from Windows 10 to Windows 11, or even in the days of Windows 7 to Windows 10, that had a lot of problems, I suspect a lot of them simply refused to do it f a fresh start and do a clean install and kept all of their programs and their files. And their Windows was already flaky, already problematic because of all sorts of problems that happened over time um, corrupt files and so on and when they moved on it's like well Windows 10 is bad because it's always crashing or Windows 11 is bad it's always crashing but they kept everything from the past and the crashing comes from that so that's why you know backing up files and doing a clean install is not a bad idea it's actually a great idea it often makes your PC run faster also because it's a brand new install of Windows. Um, same for Linux. I mean, if you have your, if you decide to move to Linux here and you, you decide to take the jump, well, you'll have to back up your files, and you know have them ready for transferring to to the new operating system, uh, whatever Linux distro you would use. One of the things that's very important also is make sure that all the programs that you use. Go to your program list and look at the apps that you have and look at, um, are, are they compatible? Will all of these apps be compatible with what I do and where I'm moving? Uh, if you're moving to Linux particularly, um, you know, what will you be missing? Is there something that you won't have on Linux that you absolutely need? And there's a lot of that. So these are all questions to think about. But do back up your files to make sure that you keep them and that they are safe. And you know what? Even if you don't move on to anything else, even if you keep your PC, backing up is a wise option. It's a really intelligent option because if something happens to your hard drive, something happens to your PC, you know you have all the important files somewhere else. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.